there lovely people of booktube it's emily here and greetings from sunny canada or at least at the moment it's actually grey and overclouded britain but by the time i upload this i will be sunning myself in the great lakes region swimming in lake huron drinking ice caps from tim hortons and probably looking around some canadian bookshops so i'm here with a tiny little book haul today to whet your appetite for what is sure to be a holiday haul when i get back I was on a self-imposed book buying ban in July, but I have succumbed to a few reads in August. So the first one is this lovely little edition of The Queen of Spades by Alexander Pushkin. And this is actually published by Pushkin Press. If you're not familiar, they publish mostly translated works in these really cute little small editions. And, <clears throat> and I haven't really read very much Russian literature before. So I'm excited to try something quite short rather than launching straight into War and Peace or Crime and Punishment. It's mostly short stories with a few poems at the back as well. Speaking of short stories, I also picked up this copy of Kitchen by Banana Yoshimoto. And this is two short stories by a Japanese author. I've been quite into contemporary Japanese literature recently and been looking out for particularly female Japanese authors. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try as well. And then I was really excited to find this copy of some short stories by Mervyn Peake. So Mervyn Peake is best known for his Gormangar cycle, which is about a fantasy kingdom and particularly about the heir of that kingdom, Titus Grown, and a boy who was sort of brought up with him called Steerpike, and he's a very dark and Machiavellian character who was always plotting the downfall of the Grown family. And there was a BBC adaptation of it when I was younger, which I really, really loved at the time, although having seen it again as an adult, it has some issues. But the world building is just fantastic. And I did try to read the book when I was younger, but I found it very dense to get through. I could tell that it was beautifully written. I think I was a bit too young for it at the time. So I'm really interested in trying some short stories by the same author to remind me what I loved about it. And because the main character of the title story is actually... Um, um, steer pike by any other name I think it'll be a really good taster to get me back into that world I'd really really love to find somebody who is interested in doing a buddy read of uh, the first one of the Gormagast trilogy because I think it would really take reading it and discussing it with somebody else to really get me to commit that time to that world again and I think the people who are into Game of Thrones would probably quite enjoy his sort of dark political fantasy. The final book that I purchased is one that's been doing the rounds of booktube and I just couldn't resist um, and that is The Crimson Petal and the White by Michelle Faber. I love the BBC adaptation. Um, I was frustrated by the ending and I needed to leave a little bit of time, I think, between watching that and diving into this read. So I'm excited to try this. I think it might be a really good winter read. And then finally, I received um, the next copy of The Reader, which is the Penguin magazine that I'm subscribed to, all about celebrity readers and interesting items from the Penguin collection. So as you can see, the celebrity featured in this one is Aziz Ansari, and I'm a massive Parks and Rec fan, so I'm really looking forward to reading the extended interview with him. And then the book is uh, one that I've never heard of. It's called Granite Island by Dorothy Carrington, and it's set in Cyprus, I believe. So it's a very kind of hot, summery read and I'm looking forward to seeing what it has to say about that. So that was my very mini August haul, and hopefully I'll have lots of exciting Canadian literature to show you before long. Let me know what you've been reading over the summer, and if you've picked up anything that you're really excited about, and I'll see you soon. Bye!